Dassault Aviation has announced that following an international competition for 26 carrier born aircraft, the Indian government has selected the Rafale Marine for Indian Navy's INS Vikrant aircraft carrier. Dassault also said that the existing 36 Rafale fighter jets are giving full satisfaction to the Indian Air Force, making India the first country to make the same military choice as France by operating both versions of the aircraft to help consolidate its superiority in the air and on the seas. The Rafale F-3R standard aircraft operated by the Indian Air Force and the upcoming 26 Rafale Marine will share nearly 80% of their components, and the main difference between the two versions is that the nose and main landing gears on Rafale Marine have been reinforced to satisfy difficult aircraft carrier landing and catapulting conditions. Mazagin Dockyard Limited and France's Naval Group have signed a Memorandum of Understanding for the construction of three additional Scorpion-class submarines with higher indigenous content under the P-75 program, and Prime Minister Modi and French President Macron applauded the collaboration between the two naval companies, saying that the procurement will help in maintaining required force levels and operational readiness, and also create significant employment opportunities in domestic sector. France has also offered its 1,000 km range naval scalp stealth cruise missile and long-range guided torpedoes for the Scorpion-class submarines. <laughs> India and France have announced that a roadmap on the 120 kN jet engine project will be created before the end of this year, that will power the 5.5 generation AMCA program, and can also be upgraded for future platforms without requiring significant changes to the core of the engine. It will feature advanced thermal signature management systems, that will reduce the radar cross-section of the fighter jet without the reliance on thrust vectoring nozzles, which will ensure that the engine remains adaptable for incorporation into future fighter jet platforms. Russian media outlets have reported, that Russia has started development of the S-550 mobile anti-missile defense system, and the physical components for the system have been made, and it is expected to be commissioned by 2025. The S-550 will be able to detect and intercept ballistic missiles at a larger range than the S-500 system, and will shield against intercontinental ballistic missiles that are sent high into space before unleashing nuclear destruction at velocities of Mach 20. After Pakistani media claim that Iraq is planning to procure Chinese-origin JF-17 fighter jets built in Pakistan, the Iraqi Air Force has stated that it has no plans to engage Pakistan in the purchase of JF-17. The Iraqi Air Force has confirmed that there are no ongoing negotiations discussions or agreements for the procurement of the Chinese aircraft. The DRDO is actively seeking collaboration with Indian private sector companies to develop a wireless aircraft flight data recorder system, that will wirelessly transmit and receive the data from the aircraft data recorder to a ground station. The flight data recorder stores crucial parameters captured by various sensors during a flight, and the wireless transmission of data will enable real-time monitoring quicker analysis and faster decision-making, that will prove beneficial for managing large fleets and expediting maintenance and operational processes. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has decided to outsource a portion of its eight anti-submarine warfare shallow watercraft and four large survey vessels order to l and Shipbuilding Limited, as Garden Reach Shipbuilders is facing pressure to deliver the vessels on time due to capacity shortages. Garden Reach Shipbuilders has to deliver eight anti-submarine warfare shallow watercraft by 2026, while the four large survey vessels were scheduled to have been delivered by mid-2022. Oh, my God.